okay everybody, I am back, and as promised this week, we're going to be doing plums. More specifically, a plum upside down cake. How good and impressive does that sound? Not only will it be quick and easy, but I bet you you can impress anybody you like. And what you're going to start out with is coffee mug. And what you're going to do then is take one tablespoon of butter, plop it in your mug, and get yourself some dark brown sugar, and get one tablespoon of that, one tablespoon of your dark brown sugar, keep the dark brown sugar out because you're going to need it again, and you're going to get yourself some plums. Now, if you go to a store and buy some plum, a plum, it's going to be nice and big, and you're probably honestly only going to need one to possibly a half of one. But if you're like me and you go and buy some homegrown, like tiny plums, all you're going to do is cut them in half, and you're going to probably need about four of them. Take the pit out, throw them in there four to five, depending on how big your mug is. Put that in half. Get the little pit out of there. Throw that in. Okay, that's two. Ooh, which one do we want? What looks good? How many is that? Three. Okay, we're going to do four. Four today, picking out the best and juiciest looking ones. Just pry them open, and what you're going to do is you're going to take them and throw them in the microwave for a minute. To basically melt the butter and the sugar. And while you're doing that, you can get yourself a little bowl. And what you're going to do with that? Sugar. And get another tablespoon, another one tablespoon of dark brown sugar. Put that in your bowl, and you're gonna get your other tablespoonful of butter. Hmm. I want it a little softer than that, so what I'm gonna do is get a tiny bowl that I can microwave. And as soon as that's done, we're gonna uh, microwave this for like five seconds just to get our butter soft enough where we can mix it up with our brown sugar in about ten seconds because I didn't think to do this beforehand because I just got home from work. And once the plums and the butter and the sugar come out, we're just going to set it aside until we're ready, ready for it. It's going to be swirling that around. Well, we'll set it aside and we'll deal with that. And we're going to take our butter our tablespoon of butter, and literally we're just going to do it for like five seconds, possibly ten seconds, just to get it soft enough. We don't want to melt it, but soft enough that we can mix it up real good with our... Let me see if that is as soft as I like. If your fork sinks in and could... Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it for another five seconds. Your butter may be soft enough to mix up with your brown sugar. Mine just isn't. Because, like I said, I... Didn't think ahead and I just got it out of the fridge. Okay. Now, we're good. We're going to plop that in with our brown sugar. And we're going to mix that up. Not the easiest, but for the... As you can see, it's nicely, like, creaming, creamed all together, I guess you would say. Now, what you're going to add to that is either one tiny egg or what I would call half of a large egg, in which case you would put a large egg, again, in a tiny bowl, stir it up, and then, like, only measure out half of it. Because since it's just a mug recipe, we don't need a very big egg. So just one tiny egg or a half of a large egg. Mix that up with our sugar and butter. 
What you're making is your cake batter to go on top of your plums. Your batter can stick on front. Okay, now for your milk. You're, again, you're going to need your tablespoon. You need two tablespoons of milk in there. Get that mixed up. And just to give it a little bit of flavor, we're going to get our vanilla out. Our new bottle of vanilla. And you don't even re you're not even going to need to measure this because you're just going to need just a few drops. Mix that with your fork until you get it all mixed up. Make a little batter in there for you. I'd show you where I'm, but if I do, I'm probably going to spill it all over the counter. You can beat that until smooth. And now we're going to get our flour. My phone. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of flour. A fourth of a cup of flour going there. Everybody can get it out of the darn measuring cup. And just two little dashes of cinnamon, just enough to give you a taste of it. Now, we're going to get that all stirred up into a proper batter. You'll know it's a proper batter when it's all mixed up and looks basically like that. Now, we're going to head back over here to our plum, and I'm just using my tablespoonful here, but basically what we're doing is going to get it mixed up so that your sh plums are all coated with your sugar and butter. And, hmm. I'm going to try this, but I do not guarantee that I should not have used a bigger mug. <laughs> the recipe said use a coffee cup, and I got my normal size coffee cup, but eh, the best we can do is try it. So we're going to pour your batter on top of the plums. You'll probably see the plum juice squishing up around the side, but that's fine, no problem. Sometimes your measuring spoon can come in handy if you've forgotten your spatula. Because we want to get all the good batter out of there. And on top of our plums. Okay. Oh, get in there. Okay, now we're going to pop it in for a minute. And then we're going to check on it. Because, like I said, I, yeah, maybe should use a bigger mug, and I'll let you know here. Because my recipe that I was reading off of said coffee cup. And this I considered to be a regular coffee cup. But, I always like to let you know that you should have used a big mug. Get my plum back in the fridge.
starting to see it rise up. And let me check on it now that we've done it a minute. Okay, we're going to do it just about 30 more seconds because I don't think we are quite done. But I'm also going to keep an eye on it because if it's going to start to boil over, it's probably done. We are definitely starting to boil up here. I might be yanking it out of there soon. Okay. Yeah, start to see it juice up. It's done. This is one of my quicker recipes in the microwave. You're actually going to spend more time mixing it up than you are cooking it. And there we have a plum upside down cake. Because you can see your cake's on top here. Excuse me, my cat is being very bad, and he is on the table. I don't care how many flies you think you can catch, you are not allowed on the table. He thinks he's a big boy now, that, but your cake will be on top. Mm. Okay, that is really good. And if you dig down in under there. You can get some of your plums. Oh, I rub them. He's not getting any. He's at the stage where he thinks everybody's food is his food. It's hard to shake him with that idea. Okay, so next week, since I've done plums this week, if the local market has its peaches out, we will get into the peaches. But, I don't know for sure, but I will find something yummy. And like I always say, if anybody has any suggestions, you let me know. And I will see you next week.